All right, in this video, let's take a quick look, hopefully a quick look, I'll try to be as concise and brief as possible, at TempDB spills. This is something you hear quite often in relationship to performance degradation. All right, so here's the uh, kind of the clinical definition. When a stored operation can't acquire enough memory for a grant, all right, what's that? Then it must be done in TempDB. All right, so you got to know what a memory grant is, right, before you can understand what a TempDB spill is. So let's go and work through that. So memory is used to store row data while sorting or joining. All right, we've got that part. We need memory uh, for sorts and joins. Got it? All right, it's called a grant because the server requires that those queries set aside memory before using it. Okay, so now we're, we're kind of piecing this together. Uh, memory is used for um, sorting and joining. All right, we got that. And it needs to set aside that memory before the query is, is run. All right, well. So the reservation improves the reliability of the query under load. Okay, well, that's good news. So uh, now we know why they uh, use memory grants. So a query with reserved memory is less likely to run out of it. Okay, so if you set aside some memory at the beginning, uh, you're less likely to run out of memory during the operation. Oh, that's cool. So let's kind of do a, a kind of a visual here, um, oh, like a walk, walk you through what a memory grant is. So uh, a little red box there, lack of available memory grant can cause a query to split a hard disk. And we know anytime that we, we've got to uh, leave the buffer pool and, and go through the IO stack to disk to get that to get that page and pull it back into the buffer pool, we're, you know, we're in trouble. That's that's not good. So we've got our query here, and we've got a group by and order by. So uh, the 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 query in question here is going to request a grant, right? A little piece of memory uh, to be run before it executes. All right. So in the, the first little line here, over here, right here, there's not enough memory for the grant. Okay, so the, we've set aside memory. There's not enough memory. Why is there not enough memory? Well, because the statistics for this this example, right? There, there are other reasons, but for this example, the statistics aren't up to date. So not enough memory is allocated. So when not enough memory is allocated, we can see the spill, our query, spills into TempDB. All right, the query must operate within the grant. So that's important. So when this grant is set aside, and this piece of this section of memory is set aside, for this grant, it can't get in the middle of the execution say, oh, wait, shit, there is not enough memory. I'm going to go grab some more. Not how it works. So <clears throat> when there's not enough memory, it spills into TempDB. And you can see here, is, this is a, I guess I should have put some water or something overflowing, uh, spilling into TempDB. And these spills are, are reported as hash or, or short warnings. And in the next video, I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through um, how this process works in relation to the group by and the order by and what a, how it looks in terms of you know, the code when, when we see a spill and when we see these warnings and what it looks like and hopefully what we can do to remedy that. All right, so hopefully this was useful information on what a memory grant is and how it causes some spilling into TempDB. Thanks for watching.